Hi everyone and welcome to our session on baking and pastry arts management. Uh, my name is Kendra Matheson and I work in the reputation and brand management department at Fanshawe. We're so happy you joined us today. I'll be hosting your session today uh, and joined, uh, joining me is Chef Roland Hoffner, who is the program coordinator for baking and pastry arts management. We're so happy he could be here today with us and um, we're glad you could join us. So um, just a few little housekeeping items before we get started. Um, and while hopefully a few more people trickle in here. Um, audience webcams and mics are turned off for this session. So don't worry, we can't see you, we can't hear you, um, but we would very much like to hear your questions along the way. So you can use the questions feature uh, on this window just by clicking the question mark and typing in any of your questions. I would love to hear from you and I'll gather up all of your questions uh, for Chef Hoffner. And once we're finished the presentation, we'll have a Q&A period and I'll ask your questions then to Chef Hoffner. And if anything continues to com come to mind as we go along, just feel free to keep sending them in to me. Um, if you are looking for more information after the session as well, uh, again, we love We'd love to hear from you, love to have your questions, and uh, we'll have some contact information up at the end to follow up with us later. And then finally, uh, if you have any other windows open, any other applications open on your screens right now, if you could close those, that will make for a better experience of the webinar. There might be some lagging if you have too many windows open, so for the best experience, it would be uh, best if you can close those windows now. So, uh, to get started with our session today, we have a video um, on baking and pastry arts management. Uh, Chef, is it okay if I start rolling that now? Oh, absolutely. Get started. Thank Great, you. thanks. I think if someone's interested in doing baking, I think Fanshawe's a really good option in terms of taking that passion and turning it into a career. My favorite part in, in doing anything is the decorating bit. Like, yeah, you go into class, you do, do everything, you bake, you get your stuff ready, you bake, you have your product, and then it's time to like play it and decorate and whatnot. That's my favorite part. Something that I like is being able to talk to instructors that work in the industry so that we kind of get an idea of what's waiting for us when we're done. Our program is very unique as we uh, have a lot of uh, cooking and baking skills incorporated in what the students uh, need to learn, have to learn. Uh, that makes them more employable. It makes them makes them more successful and they have a larger area of jobs they can choose from. We take our students every year to Europe. We offset it one year Italy, this next year Switzerland. In Italy we have our students go for one week, eight days to a culinary school where they, are, where they learn cooking and baking. And in the second year we take our, our students uh, to Switzerland and they have, they have the opportunity to work in a very renowned uh, a uh, baking school in Switzerland owned by the Swiss bakers and pastry chefs. I did IT before. I have a degree in IT and then I worked in advertising and then I kind of like found my passion in cakes. So when you become a culinary person, you, you become that because you're passionate about it. Great. So that has been an introduction to the program. And now I'll pass it over to you, Chef. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to say a very warm welcome to everybody out there. My name is uh, Roland Hoffner, or students, they call me Chef Hoffner. I'm the coordinator of uh, the Baking and Pastry Arts Management program here at Venture College. Um, before I get started, I'm just, I prepared a little PowerPoint presentation. I think I'm just going to go through it uh, uh, slide by slide in that way I don't forget anything and I can explain a little bit more in details what this uh, Baking Pastry Arts program at Venture College is uh, all about. 
It's a, a rather um, new program. We are in our fifth year or so. Uh, we have approximately 100 students, which is beautiful. So we're not overly large. Um, that's a, a big bonus, I think. It's a very positive thing because uh, we know all of our students. And I think our great strength here at Venture College is to work with the students one on one. I know all their names, I know their strengths, I know their weaknesses, and uh, I can support them uh, greatly uh, because of that. Um, can you forward us the slide, please? Thank you. Uh, our campus is brand new. We moved uh, two years ago downtown to uh, London downtown. Uh, it's a bit away from the old campus. There's shuttle services going back and forward. Um, for those of you which are going to live in residence, we have our own residence here at uh, Venture College. You can take the shuttle bus back and forth, or you can take the city bus. Like I said, the brand, uh, the campus is uh, pretty well brand new. We moved here two years ago in 2018. We have a, um, a bake lab, we have a pastry lab, and we have a third lab where we can go to. That lab serves both cooking and baking. Uh, it's used quite a bit for, uh, for our baking as we grow a lot and we get more and more popular, we need the space. We also have a three savory kitchens for our culinary program, as we do have a, a culinary uh, school here as well and a hotel management school with us. On the ground floor, there is a beautiful restaurant, a 150 seat restaurant, where all of our students, to include our bakery students, are working in there doing desserts and serving the public. Then we have a small little uh, cafe uh, where we sell all our goodies, chocolates, candies, breads, whatever we make, we sell in the cafe for other students and the public to walk in and purchase. There's a college store here on campus. And on the fourth floor, we have the most beautiful uh, rooftop gardens where you can sit out in the summer, enjoy the beautiful view of London and have your lunch or go out on a coffee break. We also have a demo theater and a wine and mixology uh, lab. That's pretty well our facility. Um, I would like to talk on the next slide a bit about career opportunities um, and what you can get out of these programs when once when you graduate. Uh, first of all, it's a diploma program. It's uh, two years long and I'm going to get later on in other slides a bit more into details about the program itself. But first, the most important thing I believe uh, for any student who comes in is the question, what are you getting out of this program? Where are you going to end up with one day when you graduate? Uh, this is very important because otherwise, why would you uh, go and take education like this in the first place if you cannot return it into, uh, uh, into a job later on down the road? So our baking and pastry arts program gears towards the industry. Uh, for, for most bakeries and pastry shops, uh, you can go and work to after and when you're done with, uh, with uh, the college here. Uh, a lot of our students, they work in baking uh, or pastry production places where only breads are being made, only desserts and pastries. Other students in the past uh, have been going to uh, restaurants, um, creating beautiful desserts or hotels, working in numerous different hotels, creating desserts and also helping in the savory kitchen. Other students are working for catering companies uh, here in London. Uh, some of our students are going to resorts. We work very, very closely with uh, resorts across Canada, so from out west or up north. They always come here on campus. They give a, um, a job fair, and then quite often they hire the students right out of the classroom, and they sign them up for a beautiful uh, summer or winter job. Other, crew, other uh, students before went on to cruise ships. To work on cruise ships or just really took you straight and traveled the world back went back to the home country or just traveled to other countries where they've been working in different uh, places hotels um, and so forth quite a few of our um, students actually open up their own place and this is um, a beautiful thing to do down the road if you collect enough experience to manage uh, a place or to open up your own bakery your own uh, pastry shop and on the next slide, you actually uh, see some of our um, students. They have been taking, it's going to come up in a second, they have been taking, um, uh, they have been opening up their own places. Quite a lot of them here around in London and around London. Some of them went on to uh, Toronto, the largest city. 
uh, opening up um, uh, little bakeries. Some of them opened up uh, food trucks. They're very popular here in, in Canada, open up their own food trucks or to go for existing businesses and uh, turn them into a modern cafe. So we have a huge success story of our own students becoming entrepreneurs and doing their own businesses. Part of our pastry program that we teach here has uh, theory classes that gear towards that uh, facility design that shows you and teaches you how to uh, create your own uh, facility, your own bakery, your own coffee house. Then we have entrepreneurial spirits. That is a course, a theory course where you're being taught uh, the ins and outs of owning your own business and how to get started, branding and so forth. Um, and everything you want to know, accounting, everything you need to know about uh, opening up your own place. In the next slide, you're going to see uh, how our program is built up. Um, if you start on the top there, there would be actually you, if you would be entering or joining us in January, uh, we have five levels. The yellow arrows is uh, the first semester, uh, January to April. Like I said, there, there could be you if you would be joining us in January. There would be semester one, followed by semester two, there would be May to the end of August. Then the green arrow would be an externship, which we generally take on um, in the third level or the third semester. This is the uh, part of the program where our students are going out in the industry and collecting valuable experience, working somewhere in a hotel, in a bakery. Uh, that's a course, it's being monitored by us, it's being graded by us, and the idea is, like I said, to collect uh, experience. Then you would come back to level four, that is the, uh, the light blue arrow on the, on the next line. Again, this would be from January to April, that's now in uh, year two. Level four, January to April. And then you move over to level five, which would be for you in uh, 2022, uh, from May until August. And after that, you would uh, get a diploma providing you uh, you succeed successfully. You get your you would graduate with uh, with a diploma. We have three intakes. That's why you see three times the, the picture repeated. Uh, we have a winter intake that's coming up now in January. Then we have a summer intake that would start in May. Okay, that's in the middle, the, the yellow arrow in the middle of the picture. And then we have a fall intake that's on the very bottom of this of, of that uh, uh, PowerPoint slide. The uh, fall intake starts in September. So the next one would be September 20, 2021. Okay, that's the, the, the fall intake. So three intakes, winter, summer, and fall. All of them are five levels long. Okay. On the on the next slide, you see a little bit more in details uh, what I just explained actually. Uh, five semester, next intake is uh, starting point January 2021. Uh, in the first um, level, the midterm or any level, the midterm is about halfway through the semester. So in week uh, seven or so, you will have um, uh, our midterms and then in the final exam will happen in week uh, 14, which would be uh, towards the end of the semester. And that is followed then by, um, by uh, the next semester, which would be May to August, that would be uh, level two. And then August till uh, December, that's the externship. And that would be followed by the second year, January to April. And again, followed by the, five, uh, the fifth level uh, from May to August uh, 22. And then you would be uh, pretty well finished uh, getting your diploma. Uh, our program is recognized by the Ministry of, um, uh, of uh, um, Educating University and Colleges here in, in Ontario and it's equivalent to an apprenticeship program. What it means is actually, after you're done with um, getting the venture baking and pastry arts management diploma, you can apply with the ministry here uh, to, uh, to become an apprentice, a baking and pastry arts apprentice. That means you, can, you have to collect 6,000 hours, and then after that, you can write your journeyman papers. They also used to be known as the Red Seal. This is pretty well a national uh, standard, industry standard here in Canada that's being uh, recognized across the country as being a journeyman or a professional which has a, a diploma, a school diploma, as well as enough hours behind them to uh, uh, call themselves a, uh, a tradesperson. This is also recognized by other countries around the globe pretty well. 
And like I said, um, our pro, our baking and pastry arts program uh, received that equivalence uh, just a couple of uh, months ago, actually from the from the ministry. Okay, on the next slide, you see the detailed uh, steps of each level. In this one, this slide you actually can find on our on our um, website on Venture College. If you go to Ken, go, if you go to Ken, Venture College uh, uh, to all the uh, programs where the full time programs are, and you uh, punch in Baking a Pastry Arts program, your, our home website comes up, our home page for the program. And if you go under um, levels, then this this slide is is uh, coming up, and it shows you all in detail all the courses that you will be taking in every level. So in level one, in level two, in level three, four, and five, it gives you the name of the course, a short little description, it gives you the hours and the credit of each uh, of each uh, course that you uh, take there. This slide you see level one, two, and three, and on the next slide. Uh, you see level four and uh, five. So if you more, want to, could move on to the next slide, please. So this one here would be level four and five, okay? Um, each semester is approximately uh, 360 hours long. So in every, every semester, approximately 360 hours. And in each semester, we have somewhere between uh, seven to eight um, courses that you will be taking. Our pro program consists of approximately 60% uh, practical component and 40% theory classes. The theory classes are very, very much related to the uh, practical classes. You're going to be learning bake theory. You're going to be learning things about cake and pastries. You're going to be learning all about ingredients. Like I explained before, you're going to get an entrepreneurial part to it where accounting comes in. Uh, purchasing comes in, menu planning comes in, designing your own facility. So that's pretty well the, the theory courses that are being taught beside practical uh, courses. In level one and in level two, we have uh, the basic baking and some basic cooking courses because we do supply basic cooking classes for all of our baking uh, students. That's just simply because we believe in it as it is very important for a baker and pastry chef to understand the, the basic components of uh, cooking. In that way, you're by far more employable. You'll be far more successful finding a job afterwards. So in level one and in level two, you have cooking and baking. And then in level three and in level um, uh, four and in level five, you will only have um, uh, uh, intense uh, uh, baking. So if you look at level four here, you're going to have classes like bread and yeast products. That's 60 hours where you're just going to do uh, everything you want to know about breads and yeast. And then uh, you have uh, another class uh, only about cakes, where you're going to be doing international cakes that are known all, all around the world. Um, you're going to be only doing about cakes. We have production classes that we introduced um, of, uh, last year in level four and level five. That really means, or what it stands for, is that you're going to learn how to operate large industry equipment, large mixers, large rolling machines. The industry asks us to do so. Uh, again, in that way, you will be more successful afterwards. You understand what producing large products means, not just doing one loaf of bread, but doing 50 loaf of breads, not just doing a dozen buns, but doing whatever, 100 or 200 buns, 200 croissants, and so forth. We teach you that, you learn that. Uh, that makes you more of a professional and you will be able to handle larger quantities. It is extremely important when you're done with school uh, knowing this part. Okay, In level five, the same thing. There's a production class built in it, um, where uh, there's a class that does only uh, uh, sweet candy-like work, confections. There's a class that only does chocolates. And then we have a beautiful class that where you learn how to do show pieces, nice wedding cakes, tiered cakes, chocolate show pieces, and uh, sugar show pieces. Very intense level four and five, very intense uh, baking. There's a lot happening um, in regards to baking classes. Good. Next slide, I'm just going to want to talk quick about um, admission requirements. Um, it's grade uh, 12 English, okay, and grade 11 math. In the first level, 
we do supply culinary math. There's one, one course where you're going to get uh, uh, 15 hours that just kind of introduces you to uh, culinary math conversions and things like that. A lot of students are struggling when they come in, so we decided uh, to put that theory class in just to help out the students. What do you need for the program? Uh, in the next slide, you're going to see um, all the equipment and uniforms that you will have to purchase. We have here on campus, on the ground floor, right next to the restaurant, we have a bookstore. And the bookstore sells all the equipment, the knives, the tools, kind of the way you see it on the bottom of the picture there, on the left side, and the uniform, the chef's jacket, the little, uh, the little hat, chef's hat, uh, the pants, uh, shoes, safe shoes, they don't have to be safety certified, but just safe, comfortable uh, leather shoes uh, and the aprons. And you can buy all that stuff here on campus. Again, if you go on to our uh, website, uh, these pictures are up there too. And they explain in, in the written language, in details on what you need to purchase. And there's prices attached to it as well. So you, have, uh, you can find out how much those items are all right, another thing you get from Venture College is a FAN card. It's called FAN card, short, just standing for it's your student card. With that student card, you can enter all our facilities, all the buildings for all campuses, which also means you can go to the main campus and use the library there. You can go to the main campus and use the fitness uh, center there. They have a beautiful, brand new uh, uh, fitness uh, center with climbing wall, rock climbing walls and all that all these gadgets that, that you like to see in a fitness uh, studio. Um, the fan card is also the bus uh, pass for our public transportation system here in London. That takes you pretty well anywhere within the core of the city, down to the bus uh, station, to the train station, or out to uh, our main campus for where the residences are. So if you do want to live in residence with a bus pass, it's it's for free, it comes with your, your, uh, with your uh, membership they almost set with your tuition uh, when you when when you uh, uh, come and join our programs you get that that bus pass uh, with it you also get for free uh, Microsoft Office products so uh, you don't have to purchase them this slide really uh, that's just what I just explained the Microsoft products you can get for free this slide really just shows you all the all the uh, different areas which are available here at the college the the, the health uh, fitness and health center um, yeah, and there's, we have an international center too for those of you which are coming from for, uh, outside of Canada, foreign countries. They will take care of you and they will help you. Good. Uh, next slide, and I think we are just about done. Oh yeah, awards and bursaries. The baking, bake, baking and pastry arts uh, program does offer awards and bursaries. So I encourage all the students, always on the beginning of each semester, go there, go to our web pages, websites, and apply for it. Uh, there's quite a lot of awards out there. It's great money, easy money, as long as you uh, qualify for it. It's easy money, easy money in your pocket. And uh, some of that you can use uh, to, uh, to pay your expenses, or you can buy uh, your, your books with it, your uniforms with it. Uh, or just pay for your next uh, uh, tuition that you always pay from semester to uh, semester. Great financial aid and a uh, great resource uh, uh, to lie back on. All right, and uh, let me talk a bit about skills, which is another uh, wonderful thing that we do with our students. We do take our students to competitions, to local competitions. We won over the last, I think, 10 years or so. We must have won over 50 uh, uh, gold medals. Uh, with our pastry program entering local competitions here in, in, in uh, Ontario. Most of them are in Toronto. We also went with a student last year to a Skills um, Ontario. Uh, Ontario is the province where we're in. We went to Skills Ontario. Uh, our student that you see in the picture there on the bottom left, she won the uh, gold medal. She placed first. And from there, she was sent to national competition in Nova Scotia. All all provinces across Canada competed and we placed third. Uh, she uh, received a bronze medal, which we're very proud of. It's very intense. It's very 
they are very intense it takes a lot of time energy and effort to uh, compete in these competitions and we always seem to be doing every year very well unfortunately this year we, there, there was no skills competition because of corona so when you can talk about uh, 2019 or another thing that we do with our our students uh, are international field trips we have been partnering up with uh, schools one of them is cast alimenti in italy we uh, went there with a, a group of students in 2018 that school is just outside of the city of venice cast alimenti is one of the most renowned culinary institutions in europe they are mainly focusing on culinary but also on baking and our students at the class we went there with um, got uh, one week very intense training on Italian cuisine, Italian baking, Italian breads, and so so on. I've got the pictures there at the bottom of our students enjoy making uh, pasta. Another school we partnered up with is in Switzerland, uh, Rich, Richmond in Luzerne, the city of Luzerne. It's in the heart of Switzerland. We went there with a group of students in uh, 2019. Uh, same thing, Richmond in Switzerland, they are more for bakers. This is that's the baking school, baking and pastry school. They have won now three or four times in a row the world uh, competition in its skills competition in bread and in pastries. They're one of the finest baking schools uh, there is in Europe. We partnered up with them and we always like to go every year with a group of students over there. Uh, to expose them to European uh, baking. Unfortunately, this year we had to cancel it. We wanted to go back to Italy, but because of uh, the virus, uh, we are we were restricted. We couldn't go. But we're planning again to uh, hopefully go towards the end of 2021 or spring of 2022. Hopefully by then this epidemic is uh, behind us and we can can go back to a regular life and start picking up again other schools and going back to our partner schools in Europe. The school students learn a lot from it, they enjoy it. It's a, it's a great cultural uh, a trip for them because they gain so much on it. And that pretty well takes me to the end of my PowerPoint session. I think um, we can go over now to the q and answer part of uh, this evening. Uh, I, I can't hear I you. Uh, can, uh, here we are. I have been unmuted. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're muted. Okay, great. Thank you for that. That was awesome. I do have one question from a viewer, which is, uh, can you purchase uniforms before getting to college? Um, yes, you can. Now, we have red red jackets, and it's probably hard to find a red jacket. And I would advise you to, if you do come here, buy the red jacket here on campus because they're hard to find. But the rest of the uniform, you can buy outside anywhere where you have access to uniforms. The pants are just regular black pants. Uh, I would advise you to get two black pants. The chef's hat is just a little uh, short black hat. Apron, you can uh, bring a black apron or white apron. Again, get two of them. So one of them is in the laundry. You have uh, another set uh, ready to go. Uh, shoes, comfortable dark shoes it could be a brown leather shoe or a black leather shoe it doesn't have to be real leather uh, but they have to be closed so that's no open toes no high heels uh, and no open toed shoes because of accidents and you know hard water or knives are dropping if you don't want to get hurt the Great. same with the, uh, the oh. same with the tools uh, uh, the same with the tools you can bring your own tools too you can look at the picture and see uh, what we it's also written out in words, so you can see exactly what we are what we're asking for. You can bring your own tools, you can bring your own knives. Um, it's probably the same price than what we charge here. We're very uh, competitive um, when it comes to pricing, but like I said, you can you can buy all that stuff before you actually arrive here. Great. We have one more question for you before we go. Sure. And that is, how many students are roughly in a class? How many students? Excellent. This is one of the, the questions that we prepared for you as well. Uh, all our classes are laid out for 20 stations, which means we never have more than 20 students in a class. Okay. We have very, very large kitchens and very large bake shops. If you go back uh, to, uh, to the actually on our web page is one of the videos that we have not shown this evening. But if you go to our main web page and open up the baking and pastry arts program, um, you see a couple of our baking 
kitchens in there are very very large rooms there's only 20 stations and only 20 students in them okay so it's really nice teaching in there because it's almost like one-on-one -on -one. you have the chance the ability to walk from student to student and and uh, give them the uh, the uh, the guidance they they need we also have a demo theater where we in level one in level two we first do a demo students watch the demo and after the demo they go to to the kitchens or to the bake labs where they being where they produce what is saw in the demo okay great so that is all of our questions today and we're a little bit over time so thank you so much for attending this chef and thank you for um, to our attendees as well and to those who submitted questions i'm so grateful that you could be here tonight and i hope you are enjoying uh, open house today uh, we will check back on saturday actually if you can there will be a separate virtual open house event for all the student services and the student life experiences. So if you have any questions about residents or athletics or any kind of student life kind of stuff, everybody's gonna be here on Saturday. So you can either check back at this same, op same openhouse.fanchasey.ca or you'll get an email about this um, if, you were, if you were registered for, for the event. So I just wanna thank Chef again for all your time tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you for and joining. Thank you for joining us tonight. Have a great night, everybody. Have a great night, bye. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Are they closed now? Um, just one second. I think I'm gonna close us out, actually. Thanks again for your time, okay? Yeah, thank you. See you okay, next time. Have a good night. Bye, you too.